The owner of a bar says controversy over trans rights caused Budweiser's famous Clydesdale horses to cancel appearances in Springfield this week. A statement from Finnegan's Wake says threats toward an Anheuser-Busch distributor led to the Clydesdale's cancellation. It follows recent backlash after Bud Light announced a partnership with a trans woman. Fox 49's Parker Padgett is live downtown tonight speaking to those upset they won't get to see the horses. Parker. Yeah, this event was supposed to happen tonight. I spoke with people who were excited to see the Clydesdales and say this controversy isn't controversial at all. An event that so many in the community were looking forward to has to be canceled um, specifically because of safety of, of people who are affiliated with the Clydesdales for something so ridiculous and trivial as a, a partnership between Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney. I, I just think it's sad. This week, Anheuser-Busch announced a partnership between Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney. So Dylan Mulvaney is a trans woman uh, who began transitioning, I believe, in 2021 and has been a lightning rod ever since um, for Republicans and conservatives who kind of see you know, um, trans representation and trans visibility as a threat. Uh, Dylan has millions of, uh, of followers. He's, he's an influencer. The iconic Budweiser Clydesdales, scheduled to visit downtown Springfield, canceled this week. Well, it's very disappointing. I mean, I think the Clydesdales was a big deal, and a lot of people were talking it up. Finnegan's Wake, the bar set to host the event, saying in a statement the cancellation stems from threats toward the beer distributor's employees. The distributor, Will Fisher, confirmed employee safety was the reason for canceling. The two tell me this shouldn't be a controversy. You know, it's just another one of those uh, silly things to me that's uh, not a big deal in my view, one way or the other. So for them to put so much focus and attention on putting one influencer on a Bud Light can just seems really strange to me. Dr. Sherman Wilkins says the partnership is positive, but he's skeptical about the motive. We call it woke capitalism, where they just slap again these faces on to say that they're inclusive, but they stop there. So I, I think it's going to be important to see whether they, you know, do more essentially. Dr. Sherman Wilkins says he looks forward to working with bars like Finnegan's and Best of Luck Beer Hall in the future. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Ozarks First. All right.